Steve Schmidt here, Schmidt Hop Farm. Today we're going to talk about our pole locations in our hop yard. We've had a lot of questions on end poles, corner poles, and how they all work. So basically, if you're looking at our hop yard today, our rows are going north to south. So we are on the south side, and we're on the far east side corner of this hop yard. So if the rows are going north to south, um, your south end poles need to be leaning in, leaning down towards the south. You can come take a look at this. And you will see all these poles have an angle to them. The perfect angle will depend on how big your hop yard is. If you're only doing a couple acres, you know, you know, 15 degree angle is fine. If you're going to be 5, 10, 15 acres larger, you do something called um, an A shape. And basically, you bring your anchor out 14 feet. Put your anchor in 14 feet, and then the middle of that 14 feet is 7 foot. So you're going to angle the top pole so it hits that 7 foot mark, and that'll create a perfect angle for you so the leverage is proper. So the smaller hop yards, you really don't have to worry about that. But um, again, first thing you want to do is get the angle right. On the south side of this north to south running uh, row, you got the angles going this way. Every pole on this area here, on the far south side, every pole in the beginning of the rows are angled down. Now we look at the other direction, we're going to look at the east-west direction, and we're on the east side. On the east side, the poles are angled as well, because if you're doing a bee design, you need every pole around the whole yard angled. So you'll see the very first one here is angled down to the south, where the second pole is angled over to the east. And all the way at the end, you'll see the last pole is angled up towards the north. That's your angle. Take a good look at that. Get a piece of paper, write it down, or play the video again. Thank you.